In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to generate ABK or AAB. I've told you the difference between them before. The ABK is the Android package and it's the actual installable app used for Android devices. And AAB is the Android app bundle. It's a publishing format that Google Play uses to generate optimized ABKs for different devices. So the ABK is an installable file. You can share it with your friends or install it in your device or on your simulator. But the AAB is a publishing file for Play Store. It's smaller and optimized. And in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to generate both ABK and AAB. So easily just in Google, type React Native to go to documentations. Let's press on get started. And let's just scroll down and select Android and iOS guides and select this option, publishing to Google Play Store. The way you generate the ABK is similar to the way you generate AAB. It is just the different of the command, the final command, okay? First, we need to generate a key store. So we're gonna copy this command and go to our code and just paste it to generate key store. And this key store is very important to publish your updates in Google Play. So after you generate it, you have to put it inside a safe place, okay? Now we need to add a password. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you have to remember this password. Let's re-enter the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. First name and last name. The name of your unit, you can type anything. City or locality name of your state, two letters of your, count, of your country, EG, and just press yes. I want to mention something. Those data are not critically important for app functionality. Those are just required to create a valid key store certificate for signing ABK or AAB. But what matters is the passwords. The one from six, we, we're gonna need this password. So this password is matter, but the other questions are not critically important, okay? So now let's just type yes and press enter. Now we've generated our key store. If you go here, in the root, you're gonna find it. My upload key store. Let's go and follow the docs. Place the my upload key store file under Android app directory. So let's go and just cut it and go to our Android app and paste it here. Inside this path, Android app. Then we need to add this to gradle.properties. So let's copy this code, this code, this part here, let's copy it. And let's go to our Android gradle.properties. So here, Android, close this app. And let's go for gradle.properties. And let's just paste this part of code here. And let's just replace those stars with the password. Remember it? The password that we've entered when we generate this key store from 1 to 6. So you have to put the correct password. Okay? If you want to change your key store file, for example, the name of it is, is what? as we got here duplicated, sorry for this, let's delete this. This key store, my upload key dot key store, if you want to change the name of it, you have to change it here also, okay? Now, let's go and follow the docs. Let's scroll down. Our last step is to add this code. So, we're gonna add it in Android app build.gradle. So let's just copy this release. Let's see those two curly braces, let's copy those. And let's go to our Android app build.gradle. So here, Android app build.gradle. And let's search for signing configs. Here is the signing configs. Inside Android signing configs. So we are in Android signing configs. We're gonna just add this part that we've copied here. This part here from those two curly braces until this release. We're gonna just copy it and paste it here. Let's re remove this space. And now we are done. What we need to do now is 
writing a command to generate ABK or AAB. Here is this command to generate AAB. So if you just copy it and go here in the root, let's clear the terminal and let's paste it in be extract native build android dash dash mode equals to release and press enter. We're gonna just generate AAB file and this file you can upload it to Google Play Store and publish it in Google Store to all users. After we're done with this AAB, I'm gonna tell you the command to generate ABK. All the steps are the same. The steps for generating ABK and AAB are the same. You're gonna just add some configuration. You're gonna just generate the key store. So the steps are the same, but only the final step is the command. It's different. When you want to generate AAB, you're gonna run this command. But if you want to generate ABK, you're gonna run another command that I'm gonna tell you later in this video. Now build successful. Now if you go here and open Android, app, build, outputs, bundle, you're gonna see here app release.aab and this is the AAB that you can upload it to Google Play Store and publish it to Google Play Store. And here is an ABK but it's a debug release not production release. So now how to generate an ABK. This AAB you cannot install it to Android device directly. So we're gonna just generate an ABK to try it or to send it to your friend and so. So here inside the root just type. Let's just go to our Android folder so cd android and inside Android folder we're gonna just run this command. Gradle a simple release. Here is if you are using Mac. If you are using Windows, you're gonna just run something like this. Let me type it here. Here's if you are using Mac. You're gonna just run this command. Gradually, a sample release. If you are using Windows, you're gonna run this. Gradually dot bat a sample release. Okay, so we are here in Mac, so we're gonna just run this command. Gradually a simple release. So let's just press enter and wait until our ABK is done. Now build is successful. And if you go here to folders and go to our Android, app, build, output, you're gonna find here inside ABK, release, you're gonna find here ABK release. See? Let's just get this file and try to install it inside our Android emulator. But to install the same app in emulator, you need to remove the last one before. So we need to remove this chatty app before. So let's uninstall it. Then let's install the new ABK. So let's just drag and drop here. Now we've installed it. Let's just try it. Now here's our ABK. And it's working. So now in this lesson you've learned how to generate ABK and AAB. And this ABK you can send it or upload it to Drive. You can send it to anyone to install it. Because you can install it directly to Android devices.